Here are the top six burgers you need to be eating in New York City right now. Let me tell you why. There's a reason this is a former Burger Bash winner. Clinton Hall's Double Smash begins with two beef patties that are seasoned and put onto the flat top before just getting smashed. And each patty gets a slice of American cheese. On the bun goes a layer of their special sauce, the two smashed patties, pickles, more special sauce, and some crispy shallots before getting topped with the bun. That burger makes my mouth happy. One of the most classic burgers in New York City is still one of the best. Peter Luger's Lunch Only Burger begins with their perfected dry-aged meat that gets grounded up into a 70-30 mix of meat to fat. The patties then get a thick layer of salt before going into the broiler, which can reach temperatures of almost 1,000 degrees. I got it with American cheese served on top, and it serves really simply with just an onion on the bottom. It's packed with flavor. For that true fast food style smash burger experience, the best has to be 7th Street Burger. Uh, their burger starts with Martin's potato bun getting toasted and buttered. Then the patties go down, uh, gets a handful of white onions, and then it's smashing time. So the burger develops, ooh, that crust. A little bit of seasoning, and it gets a flip. A slice of American cheese goes on top, followed by more onions. And then it's time to build, starting with some special sauce, pickles, and the burger itself. Just glorious. You're getting that crustiness, you're getting all that fat from the cheese and the special sauce, and like, there's a lot of butter in that potato bun too. Bacon marmalade burger. Yep. Uh, Bronson's Burgers comes from a team behind Kimika and Wayla, and their Bronson's Bacon Burger is next level. The bottom of the bun gets the bacon marmalade, which is made from cooking down onions, sherry vinegar, sugar, and smoked bacon, low and slow. The burger goes on top of that, followed by mushrooms and crispy onions. There is just an explosion of flavor in that burger. All the way from LA, Salt Skewer might be best known for their breakfast, but do not skip the burger. It begins with two smashed, all grass-fed farm-raised beef patties getting crusty on the griddle. The grass-fed really intensifies the beef flavor, and I love it. Two slices of mild cheddar goes on top of that, and then on a toasted buttery brioche goes a layer of mayo on both sides, and in the burger, onions, and pickles. Right away, beautiful crust. All the texture, really salty, really, really love that. Nice grass-fed beef flavor coming through. Coming from Chef Jose Andres, Mercado Little Spain's Lena at Hudson Yards is serving this insane Spanish-inspired burger, uh, which starts with the patty that is made from grounded dry-aged Angus ribeye. That's formed and seasoned with salt on both sides. That's in place into an oven I've never seen before. It has charcoal on the bottom for direct heat, but also cooks as a normal oven, as the fat melts and then just helps to create smokiness for that burger too. Meanwhile, a potato brioche bun imported from Spain is coated in butter and also put into the oven to toast. The burger gets a flip. And then a brava sauce with olive oil, mayo, and savoura mustard goes down to both sides of the bun. The burger gets two slices of American cheese. And then on the bun, it gets some pickled green peppers called paparas. The cheese is cooked perfectly and it's placed right on top of that bun. Just look at that beauty. That char, mm, key. super, super salty. Mm, that beautiful, luscious, melty cheese coming through the whole thing little tiny bit sourness there, the butter oozing out.